What's up everybody and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at the creek to do a little bit of fishing and what we want to do today is a bit of a challenge, a little bit of an inline spinner challenge. Here I've got the little Joe's Flies 3.5 in black gnat and all we want to do today is fish around, throw some spinners, catch some of these beautiful mountain trout and try to get us a limit. Six fish is the number we're looking for so let's get in here guys and let's get started. There he is. He came over and absolutely smoked that spinnerbait. Looks like a gorgeous little rainbow here. They love the old Joe's flies. Gorgeous fish here. On that weighted black gnat, easy to cast around and trout cannot stand them. That big blade comes by, creating a bunch of vibration and they just open right on up for it. Gotta be careful while doing your unhooking though. These hooks are very sharp. There we go. Just simply turned it out of that little girl. And again, just a gorgeous rainbow trout there. We'll just let her swim right on out of here. There she goes. Heck yeah. So we'll fix up our spinner and we'll get back in there. Got our little inline spinner all fixed up here. That fish did mess him up just a little bit. We fixed him back up. I'm running through here nice and slowly. And just see if there might be somebody else in here interested. In biting our blade. This technique, guys, is really a technique that you want to kind of just cover water quickly with. Run and gun. You don't really want to waste a whole bunch of time in one specific area. You're really going to just catch the fish that are active and willing to chase. And the ones that aren't are just kind of going to stay where they are. And, uh, you know, you'd have to really struggle to catch those fish. But with this technique, you just kind of run and gun, make a few casts here, a few casts there, cover plenty of water, and determine whether you have or haven't gotten in front of the majority of the fish in that area. And then once you've determined that most of the fish in that area has seen your spinner, you simply pack it up and head to the next spot in hopes of finding fish that will not only see the spinner, but react to it, turn and feed on it. But so far, I've had one really nice one biting in this hole. And I have a feeling that as long as we give it a few more casts here, change up our speeds just slightly, and get in front of everybody, that somebody else here will be interested in feeding. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Popped off and sent that old spinner heading straight at me. But that will happen. Let's get back here and see if we can get us another one to do the same thing. Minus the throwing the spinner back at us. That's not too much fun. Oh, there he was on the spinner. He came over and absolutely slapped it. There he is. Another gorgeous little rainbow on the spinner. I haven't quite ran into that old brown trout yet, but I'm sure there'll be one around here for us at some point during the day. Slide that little beauty right on into the net here. Another absolutely gorgeous spinner fish here. Just got the little teaser hook there. Calm down, we're going to turn you loose. I promise, buddy. All right, there we go, guys. Another absolutely gorgeous little fish. We'll just let him go right here. There he goes. All right, let's get back in there, see if we can get us another one.
There we go. Slow rolling the old spinner through there. And this little girl right here just had to have it. Another small rainbow. We switched up sides from the opposite side over there. Just to kind of give them a different presentation. See if we could get a couple extra bites. And as you can see here, that's exactly what happened. Looks like this little girl's got it right on the tongue there. Not an ideal place for a trout to be hooked because as you can see there, they do like to bleed in that particular area. All right, we got her off. Let's see how she fares. See if she'll take off. A little bit of blood. Oh yeah, took off strong. Hooked right in the tongue there. No gill blood at all. Just right off of the tongue. Sometimes that can be fatal. But that fish there seemed to have still had plenty of power left in it. So we let it take off there. And if for some reason we see one come up to the surface, we will walk downstream there and gather it up because we don't want to waste any fish. But I feel like that particular fish there left out of here really strong with a very high chance of survival. So let's cast back in here and see if we can get us another one. Although there are brooks, browns, and rainbows in here, it seems like today the rainbows are really apt to chase. Where the browns and the brooks aren't so much, I've seen both brooks and browns in this hole. And no chaser so far. Every chaser we've had so far has been a rainbow chasing. So that's just something to kind of note. Pretty interesting. All right, guys, we'll bomb us out one more cast in this hole. Like I've mentioned before, whenever you're targeting fish on your spinner, you want to just kind of cover water, get in front of the active fish, and move on to the next spot. You can pick a spot apart and fish slowly and just kind of cast and retrieve most of the day. But what you'll find is you're going to spend way more time looking for your limit and successfully catching your limit in one spot than if you just cover water, keep casting, get in front of more fish in different areas, and really target those fish that are aggressive. So let's go on ahead and take our little Joe's fly here. Let's head on up the creek, see if we can find us another one. Oh, they are coming up and thumping it, guys. We are just barely missing them. They're just barely coming up and nipping. But at least we're getting some bites here. That's always good. Oh, we missed another one. They are coming up and just short striking it. And this thing has got the short striker hooks on it, but that does not always mean you'll get them. Sometimes they just come up and just bump the rear end of it there. Just like that guy did. Let's go ahead and check our hooks here. Hooks are in good shape. Try us to cast upstream here. Not always the best tactic, but sometimes you'll see that fish can get a little bit more um, speed, I guess you can say, chasing downstream. And they can get more of your bait in their mouth. So we'll give it a few casts here and we'll see if that's the case. There he is. Brownie. Gorgeous fish there, wow. Sorry about that, boss. I mean, no offense, I promise. Let's let that little beauty go. An absolutely gorgeous fish there. May even be a tiger, can't quite tell. Let's let her go. There she goes, heck yeah. All right guys, very last cast of the day going in. We tried our best with our spinner. We tried to complete our challenge, but as is fishing, you cannot always make them bite. We fished the entire creek today, guys. I mean, one end to the other. And we did find some success. We landed four fish throughout our fishing trip, but no limit, no challenge completed. And there's really nothing we can do about that, guys. We have fished from one end to the other, fished every single hole. We've changed up our colors and our patterns. By far, we've had our most success on that little 3.5 weighted Joe's flies there. But we uh, had a lot of short strikes today, a lot of misses, a lot of fish pop off. And there's really nothing you can do about that. They, they add the short striker hooks to every one of their Joe's flies models. And unfortunately still, you get a couple fish every once in a while that just want to bite it really short. 
not completely take it and you end up missing them but that's okay we still had an awesome time out here giving it an honest try and just seeing how we could fare with it and i would like to say a special shout out to mr cooper he fishes up here an awful lot and he loves to throw a spinner and i have to admit the young man knows what he's doing if he was here today he would have whipped my butt with these old joe's flies but get out if you can guys and do some fishing and have some fun and most importantly be safe and tight lines